of a group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is it not the reality for black women? I know hey, beautiful people, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Myra Davis, and I'm back again with another interesting topic. So this particular black woman was dragged for asking this question. She was giving white people's standard for black community i'm gonna go ahead and play the full video then come back and talk about it of a group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged and the question came up well why is it not the reality for black women i know y'all not gonna like what i gotta say but you know me i'm gonna say it anyways first and foremost black women are above reproach if it don't validate us or excuse our bad behavior we don't want to hear instead we'll say well men do it too secondly we'll find every excuse in the world to validate why we don't want to be married or why we don't want to be in a relationship well, they get cheated on. Well, they do this. Well, they do that. But then we have all these standards for men. And we're still actively seeking for men in the midst of our hurt while inadvertently telling them to go to therapy. We do not practice what we preach. Thirdly, the independent woman is a myth. Ashley cared about being independent and it was something that made you happy. You would not have all these standards to negate your independence. Nobody wants to relinquish power find every excuse in the world to not be submissive and wonder why white women can get away with their bad behavior we take everything bad from white women except for the fact using marriage to our own benefit but you'll run to the child support office though get equality against men and the only time we actually want to be equal to men is when it comes to degenerate behavior hypersexuality abusing or abandoning children even when it comes to the gold digger conversation what you don't see those other women do even when they are just screwing men for money is bashing men and inadvertently making men feel like they're not important also too telling them that they don't need men psychologically we have been taught to disassociate ourselves and even in that malcolm x quote where he says the black woman is the most disrespected he also says to be near your man because who taught you to hate the very race that you're supposed to be with okay there was a graduation or graduation was happening and obviously white people were getting rings were getting engaged and all of that and the only question that could pop up this black woman creator's head was that why is it that black women don't really get engaged during their graduation or during college you can't compare you can't compare because black people or black women go to college because they want to be successful it's not just because of marriage you cannot compare the way white people were brought up you know college sweet art and all of that you can't compare it to black people i really don't get this question i really don't get what why this came to our mind i want to know what you think about this down in the comment section of course a lot of people had a lot to say and they were not really happy with this question a lot of black people were coming for her i'm gonna put stitches for you all to watch the stay tuned who are sitting at their graduation engaged and the question came up well why is it not the reality for black women? who asked that question because i feel like you're just making stuff up i have some questions of my own do y'all ever get tired of comparing yourselves to white people? Like, why are they your standard? There's a group of patriarchal black people who play on our collective undesirableness and act like marriage is the biggest issue in our community. It's not. There are much more pressing conversations we need to be having in our community that don't revolve around dating advice dating advice that generalizes black women and ask them to act more like their oppressors just based on your video i'm assume you're nothing like those generalizations but i have to ask are you married now were you engaged that young independent woman is a myth as a married black woman with almost all married black women friends I think most of what she is saying is nonsense, but there is one point that she made that I do agree with. We are taught to be independent, whereas white women are not, but we need to look at why we're taught this. The idea of an independent black woman stems back to slavery, where you didn't know whether your husband was going to be beaten to death or sold, so at any point you had to be ready to stand on your own and provide for your children. Post-slavery, black families were thriving and marriage was the norm, and you saw that continue up until the 80s when crack was introduced into the black community. Once they destabilized the black homes, they then told black women, the only way that you can qualify for any kind of assistance from the government is if you do not have a man in the home. Now, if it's a matter of providing for your children or having the man in the home, which one do you think black women are going to choose? So yes, black women developed a sense of hyper-independence and then taught that to their children because they were told that they had no one else to depend on. So if you want to talk about it, let's really talk about it so we can address the actual problem group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged and the question came up well why is it not the reality 
a lot of you who are stitching her video are actually proving her right that black women really do believe that we are above reproach one of the reasons that you don't see a lot of black women with rings on their finger um for the black women have drunk the kool-aid on black love and spoon fed it to their daughters okay so they're not even open to dating other races of men who are much more marriage ready who are much more marriage minded so you got black girls chasing black men and i promise you some of them white girls who were in that audience were engaged through black men and then at the hbcu level the, the numbers are not even there the men are not even there to have uh, quite a few young ladies with rings on their finger you know and black men generally are not trying to get married that young and that's where I think some of the pushback is because you know it's not just about our attitudes. You know it's not just about us being headstrong. No, th there's layers to this. There's layers to this. A group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is there not the reality? Why are you minding white women's business? See, when they insert themselves into our business, we quick to check them. Now, I'm not going to play that double standard shit. Mind your business. Stay out of white women's business. Okay? They're men. And what they do with their men and why they choose to marry their men at a certain time is their white business. We got too much shit going on in our community because our black men don't want to get their mental health together. And you up here comparing us to them. Worry about your own black business. And I can assure you most black women that got married out of high school or college are divorced now. Because our men have mommy issues and they're going through a mental health crisis. This is giving pick me energy because black women don't need no man to be successful. A group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is there not the reality? Let me just say this. First, you pretty much, you watched a video with young white women just graduated and they're showing their engagement rings. A beautiful video. That's something you just comment congratulations and you keep it moving. But instead of doing that, you looked at that video and you thought to yourself, nobody asked that question. Like you say, you thought, oh, why can't black women do the same thing? But then you said, then you hit us with pretty much every non-married man, non-married man podcaster and took what they said and been like, see, this is why we can't do that. You talk about submission. You talk about bashing men. You talk about using men and child support offices and all this stuff as if white women aren't baby mothers white women don't go to child support offices as well like you're you made you said nothing but just give a bunch of assumptions you didn't come with any research any facts any anything if you would have said oh at a pwi they pushed the whole term ring before spring so th since that's pushed and it's probably pushed more in their community to be married that's why they're married so if you would have been like oh we should fix this guys as black people men and women we should push marriage more on our sons, sons and daughters. We should push marry, uh, marriage more in our education system, especially in college. They're at that age, they're about to, you know, start having, you know, intercourse a lot more. We should push marriage. I would have been on board with the video. That's a great thing to encourage young black people to do, young people in general. That's a good thing for us to push. But you came to the video and basically said, black men don't want to marry us because we're not as submissive as white women. There's plenty of black couples, black married couples. My parents being one of them, my grandparents on my mother's side being another one, my grandparents on my dad's side being another one. That's three married couples. Two of those couples been married for over 50 years. And in young people, there's plenty of young married couples and I'm around them every day. So what is your video actually about? I feel like there's a lot of projection going on since you are a black woman. You seem to be kind of young. I don't know, maybe 30 something with no ring um, saying what black women need to be doing in order to get engaged. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? You don't have one. So it's like it's kind of something's blocking your message a little bit. And I think it's the internalized misogyny and it's the projection that you're putting through your video. That's oh so obvious. So maybe you should do some other research. And then take the advice from the research that you get so you can get engaged. Because I think that's what you really want. A group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged. And the question came up, well, why is there not the reality? Thank you for sharing. Thank y'all. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this, but thank you for sharing. Why are all these young black women on this app 
trying to give all this old ass, crusty, dusty, um, judgmental, bitter ass auntie advice to other black women. What what is what what's going on? What's happening? Who's the intended audience for something like this? Like <laughs> I know it's not me, but who who's are we supposed to be motivated by this? Am I supposed to be like, oh my god, let me get my life together? Like who what what are we what are we supposed to do with this? group of white girls who are sitting at their graduation engaged and the question came up well why is there not the reality the amount of blatant internalized misogyny is just bleeding through her pores I'm not even going to address that i just find it interesting that people get on the internet and without providing any statistical or factual data make these very blatant statements about things they know nothing about just vibes and instead of us focusing on the fact that black women are amongst the most educated population in the united states we are worried about whether or not they leave college engaged is that really the standard of success and although divorce rates are on a 40-year low we still have the third highest rate of divorce in the world and i also find it interesting that at no point we are talking about whether or not any of these women are actually happy that should be the standard of success. Are people happy with the decisions they've made versus the standard of success the society has told us we have to achieve in order to be successful? Make it make sense. Exactly. Success is based on, are you happy with what you have? Is this what you want? That's based on success. If you're saying going to college and you have to get ring and that shows that you went to college successful, is that really reason why people go to college or go to college for studies not to get married not to yes you might meet people meet friends and everything but that's not actually the main cost of going to to college you're going to college to study to further your education I don't, I don't really get the question i don't really get where she's coming from i don't really get where she's going she doesn't just like totally makes sense to me i'd like to know what you guys think down, down in the comment section i'd like to your opinion I want to know what you think down in the comment section. And thank you so much for sticking around to this point. My name is Maradi, but I said earlier, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in